Okay, so this right here is Pro Tools. Uh, this is the edit window where you can see your tracks in a timeline. And this is the mix window, which is more of a mixer. Uh, it has the, the fader here and pan knob. So when you're recording, you don't want to change the volume with this fader. You want to use the gain knob on your preamp or audio interface. So let me show you what it sounds like when you record something that's too quiet and then boost it in post. This is the signal that's too quiet. You can hear it's quiet now. I'm going to boost it later so that it's a bit louder. It's going to be the exact same thing over and over again. This is the signal that's too quiet. You can hear it's quiet now. I'm going to boost it later so that it's a bit louder. It's going to be the exact same thing over and over again. All right, now this is the signal that was recorded too hot. You can see visually that it's like a huge waveform and auditorily you can hear it's kind of distorting, especially when I get really loud. It's just one big clip. Okay, so I'm going to... And you can see that it's zero, which is and red, which is signifying that it's clipping. So if I pull it back a little bit, oops, oops, let's find it. Let's find that sweet spot. Yeah, that's not too bad. So you, it's okay to have like a little bit of this like different color green, but once it gets too far yellow, you don't want that. But that's just because I was yelling. You want to set your gain level to a point where as loud as you're going to be, or your artist is going to be singing or whatevering, guitaring, <laughs> you want to set it so that you can set it and forget it, so that throughout the song you don't have to keep riding the gain knob and turning it up and down. Um, some things you might have to do that, but for the most part you want to set it to a point where uh, you don't have to worry about it. Well, the good news is recording too quiet is not as big of a deal if you have a good listening environment and decent preamps. But if you have a really cheap preamp or not one at all and you have like a, a mic to USB, more noise is going to be introduced when you boost the signal. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to show you uh, the difference between a good looking waveform and one that is clipping. So check this bad boy out see it's nice and cute if I zoom in you can see it's a nice up and down I mean, there we go it's not nothing's like chopped off or anything it just like up and down nice cute waves all right I'm gonna zoom out and go to one of the, oh yeah and you can see that it's just a flat line right there. Let's see what that looks like. Oh man, yeah. See, see how it's just chopped off? That's what a clip is. So the signal wants to go like that, but it cuts off at zero dB full scale. And it, so it's not going to allow you to record past 0 dB full scale. So it just, yeah, it just makes it like a little chop. Yeah, I mean, that's it.